Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to provide a short demonstration of how to calculate z-scores using SPSS. In addition to calculating z-scores, I'm going to find the area that falls at or below a given score within the distribution, assuming that the original raw score distribution is normal. So we'll begin with our variable called interest, and there's actually 50 cases where we have scores on that particular variable. So what I want to do is convert the original raw score variable into a z-scored variable. And the z-scored variable will have a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Analyze, go to Descriptive Statistics, then go down to Descriptives right here. I'm going to move the interest variable over to the variables box and I'm going to click on save standardized values as variables. So we're clicking this little box right here. Also, uh, in addition, what I'm going to go ahead and do is look under options, make sure I've clicked mean and standard deviation. That's not going to be relevant for generating the z-scores, but I do want to take a quick look at the mean and standard deviation of the original raw score distribution. So I'm going to click on continue and then on OK. So first off, you'll notice that looking at our output, you can see that we have the mean for the distribution and the standard deviation. This is for the original interest variable. So these are not, uh, this is the mean and standard deviation, again, for the in original variable, not the z-scored variable. Now, you'll notice that we now have a variable called z-interest. So this is the interest variable that's converted to z-scores. So the mean and the standard deviation of this distribution is now 0 and 1. And if we want to just uh, take a quick look just to uh, prove that to you, I'm going to click off of saved standardized values as variables. And I'm going to move the original variable over and move the z-scored variable into the variables box. We'll click on OK. And so now you can see that the mean of the distribution is 0, standard deviation is 1. And that is for the z-scored variable. Now assuming that our interest variable is coming from a normal distribution. We may be interested in figuring out uh, the proportion of, of the distribution would fall at or below these individual scores within the distribution. So we've already converted the distribution, the uh, original raw score distribution to z-scores. And so to find the area that would fall at or below um, each individual score within the distribution, again, assuming it's normal, what we'll do is we'll click on Transform Compute Variable. And under target variable, we just put a, uh, a name in. I'm just going to call it CDF just to keep it simple. Just That's for cumulative distribution function, basically. Now, under numeric expression, I'm going to type in CDF period and then normal. Inside the parenthesis, I'm going to move the z-score variable over to the first position, followed by a comma, then followed by a zero. And that's the mean of the z-scored variable then comma, and then one. That's the standard deviation for the z-scored variable. And then in parenthesis. So basically, uh, so this is the mean and standard deviation for the z-scored variable, but it's also the mean and standard deviation for the unit normal distribution. So what we'll do now is we'll click on OK. And so now when we look at our column, you'll see that now we have CDF column. That's just basically, again, the cumulative distribution function. And so now what we can say is that uh, with a raw score of interest coming from a, a, a normal uh, distribution, we would say that uh, the z-score uh, conversion is negative 0.89. And we can say that basically 19% of the distribution, of the normal distribution, would fall at or below the raw score of 86.35 or the converted uh, into z-score of negative 0.89. Um, again, that's assuming that our original variable is normally distributed. We would say that 53% of the distribution falls um, at or below um, a raw score of 99.44. 43% of the distribution falls at or below 95.87. You can see down here, 3% falls at or below 73.49. And you'll also notice that, um, that the associated z-score here and here uh, associated with those three percents is roughly 0 0.03. It's actually, if we inc uh, increase the number of decimal places, you can get a more precise measurement. So in this case, it's 0 0.0258, 0 0.0323.
And basically those values in the CDF column you can easily find if you open up uh, many uh, introductory stat textbooks where you have a Z distribution or the standard no uh, unit normal distribution. For instance, if we take uh, this case right here, um, where, uh, case number two, where the z-score is 0 0.08, uh, we can easily find, if we just kind of amplify this a little bit, a z-value, the z-value of roughly 0 0.08, which is right around here, and the percentage of the distribution that falls at or below, it's kind of rounded off at 0.531814, uh, and so you can see it's roughly the same number. Uh, you'll notice that the Z value is, is actually point, rounded off at 0 .08 instead of the 0 .8, 0 .08221, and that's why there's a whisper of a difference between the two. But basically that's all we're finding right here uh, with the CDF column. So that pretty well concludes this short demonstration. Keep in mind that if you want uh, access to the data, uh, you will find a link underneath the video description where you can download it. Thanks for watching.